Alright gamers and game that's what is going on my name is Tanek127 and welcome back to another video and before we get into today's video guys as usual let me just do my shameless plugins if you're not make sure you're following me on all appropriate social media at Tanek127 if you want more v4 information news videos and stuff like that be sure to subscribe to the channel like this video and let's go ahead and get into today's topic so welcome guys welcome welcome to today's video we have another MMORPG by the developer Nexon A.K.A. the developer I like to call. What are you going to cancel next, son? Ha <laughs> ha, get it. I know there's somebody in the comments right now waiting to roast the life out of me. I know it. I know it. Go ahead. Hit me with it. Hit me with it. Oh, I'm just saying, if you, if you guys know who Nexon is and you know they're infamous for canceling and, you know, just cutting every single game they develop for... God knows whatever whatever reason. I guess it's not meeting profit margins or whatever. I, I don't know. I'm not going to get into get into all those um, details. No disrespect to the developer. I'm just saying it, it makes it hard to trust anything made by them. One of my favorite MOBAs, um, Hyper Universe, was done by Nexon. And, of course, I waited around a good year to hear about a console port. One came. The PC version was shut down. The console version was shut down. Pretty much a year after, and um, I'm still a little salty about that. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie, and that's that. That may rub off in this video a little bit, but um, anyway, let's go ahead and um and talk about what I want to talk about into today's video. So V4 is a brand new MMORPG by the developers of Nexon, and I don't know about you guys, but for some odd reason, this game gives me Black Desert vibes. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what it is, but it just makes me, it just kind of reminds me of Black Desert for some odd reason. But um, anyway, the what I want to know is when it comes to this game, and one thing that I can't help but notice, and I know people are going to jump on me, they're going to say some weird stuff, but hear me out. I look at a lot of these MMORPGs, and I ask myself, why is this not on console? Now, do not let the control scheme you're looking at here fool you. This is actually PC gameplay from the proper PC version. This isn't me, you know, um, emulating it on Blue Stacks or nothing like that. No, 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 no. It's a cross-play MMORPG made for mobile and PC. And I can't help but, you know, just, just say this, but when you look at this version, specifically here at PC, you guys can see the buttons here are laid out on the right and, and stuff like that and every and you have the control for movement laid out on the left which pops up sometimes but um i can't help but notice that the ui is shaped like a controller so it works on mobile but once again a developer skips out on the you know the console opportunity bringing a big cross play game i guess as you know like nobody learns from the success of Final Fantasy 14, and they make it PC and mobile only. By the way, I do want to go ahead and show you guys the classes in this game because it does have some pretty good character customization and some pretty, pretty um, dope classes. You have an Enchantress, a Gunslinger, the Slayer is the one you see me playing now, a Boomblade, and there's um one other class. I can't remember all the class names, so um so please please forgive me, but I showed them all here on the screen, so <laughs> don't don't stress that, but the thing, like I was saying, the thing I can't understand for the life of me is they will bring these, they will bring these MMOs, they'll bring them to mobile. PC, I understand, you know, PC is a powerhouse, you got a variety of buttons and stuff like that. But when it comes to seeing a game on mobile, that's when it's hard for me to not excuse it coming to console because it's a mobile phone. So you can't give me power as an excuse. And you definitely can't give me, you know, controller as an excuse because a mobile phone technically has one big button the touch screen which is split into <laughs> multiple buttons but i'm just saying it's pretty clear that you know this ui that you're seeing here on the screen would work just fine on a on a controller you obviously have you know access to a basic attack and five other moves at a time 
That's real simple to do, especially with games like Final Fantasy XIV, Terra, and Black Desert that have, you know, 20, 30, and some even 40 different moves working on a controller. I'm pretty sure this game can do five. And, you know, the way, um, the, the way that some of these, some of these games, games are done, I just, you know, I, I can't, I can't fathom why. As you guys can see here, the, it even has an action camera setup. Like, this game would work well on console. It would work well on Xbox, PlayStation. Hell, it runs on mobile, even Nintendo Switch. But the only thing that they're, that they're going to do is bring it to PC and mobile. And Nexon, knowing their usual selves, they're going to do one of two things. They're going to update it for a while. Because the game had has had a very successful launch, from what I've seen. Now um, the servers were pretty packed. Um, the uh the first the first day. Um, I know when I when I got in, I was in a queue line of like 500 people trying to log into the server. So it does get a um a decent amount of players, and it has a a good player base from what I can see for right now. But it's it's brand new. We'll see how it looks, you know, months and years down the line. But they're gonna update it for a while, support it, you know, show it off, market, and do what they gotta do. But if things don't work out the way they want to with this game, I guarantee you guys, a year or two from now, just like all Nexon titles, it'll be shut down. And the thing that's going to suck about that is, and the reason I brought that up in the beginning of this video is because like, Nexon, they just, they have this thing where, you know, they'll take a game, try it one place, and if it doesn't work or get the attention that they want it to, they drop it. And here we are once again, cross-play MMO, big, big opportunity, um, console platforms that, you know, that are in need of solid MMO, RPG, RPG games and stuff like that. And once again, they don't, they don't even look our way. We're not even considered. And if this game gets shut down a year or two from now, or hell, it could blow up and be the next biggest MMO. I have no idea. But if this game doesn't get get um get you know the success that Nexon wants it to, I guarantee you it'll be written off right off their chalk chalkboard, and it won't even have gotten a chance on on three of the other platforms existing out here. And every time I look at a lot of these games, that's just that that's crazy to think about. Just because you know one or two groups of people don't like a certain game. Or don't notice it. We're not going to give it a chance for anybody else. And that just, you know, that, that mentality of developers drives me crazy. Now, granted, I know console development is a bit more complicated. It's more expensive. you got to pay for dev kits with updates. you got to wait for certification, yada, 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 yada. But if you, if you know, you're a big developer like Nexon and, you know, you want, you're looking for a game to succeed... Because I highly doubt you put this kind of effort into building a game this big just for a, a quick cash grab going through the, the hard work of crossplay and all that. You, you mean to tell me you're going to make something like this and not want anything out of it? Besides, you know, just to make a few bucks and let it die and call it a day. I mean, if that's the mentality of the developer, then I guess so, but... I don't know, guys. There are going to be some games that, you know, when they don't come to console, it's going to drive me crazy. So expect to see a lot more videos in this series on why certain games haven't come to console. Now, I got I know a lot of you guys, you know, there's going to be some of you that that um that disagree and say, "Internet, you're just a console fanboy. You need to get a PC." Blah blah blah. Well, don't tell me to get a PC because I wouldn't be able to supply you with this gameplay, you know, on all Mac settings if I didn't have a PC. But you, you guys, you guys get the idea. Go ahead and leave your thoughts down in the comments below. But anyway, guys, you all enjoyed this video. Smash that thumbs up button for me. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. It's your boy, Tenek127. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till next time, peace out. Take care. You just wanna hold